sure I don't. You. Don't say that. We're about to go live. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> hi. Hi, people. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. Thanks for coming in on this wonderful Good Friday evening. You. Yeah. You. Yeah. yeah, we're going to start this off. I dropped a real quick little video at an, earlier this evening, and um, we had a mail call. So tonight, to keep notes on our live, I'm styling this good-looking chicken notebook with the buffalo plaid adorned with the chicken inside. I love it. And that is from lazy days ahead with jesse and lisa jesse and lisa thank you so much wait but there's more these are these are kind of cool y'all you know we just got new chicks and they're brahmas little brahma chicken salt and pepper herbs. aren't they cute just stop it these right now very cool a lovely card. I would be remiss in my duties if I did not point out. The mod Jesse, father himself. Jesse is. Touched this sticker. Oops. And this here magnet. Isn't that cool? And this here sticker. We, we need to get a sticker wall going. Wait, watch. That's one of their new ones. I think Mickey over at Critter Creek did the artwork for that one. Because he's just wildly talented like that. And wait, there's more. One more. It's a cool little towel. An old rooster and a cute chick live here. Ta-da. So, going in the kitchen. thank you, Jesse and Lisa. Lazy days ahead. At lazy days ahead. Lovely. Was... There was one other thing in our mail call, though. Oh. Y'all, I got to show this off. It's so pretty. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. Isn't that the prettiest card? It's springtime. This came from Virginia Alexander. Thank you very much, Virginia. Y'all, if you see her around, be sure to give her some love. What an amazing human being. She's so sweet. She throws a lot of support at a lot of different channels. Yes, she does. And she's just a lovely human. She and her husband just celebrated their 65th what wedding she anniversary. That's what saying in her card. That's amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations. Some heroes don't wear capes. They wear aprons. That's right. And tool belts. Yeah. 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 Speaking of tool belts, what are we going to break? The, uh, what are we going to do this weekend? Well, we're going to tear it up. We're going to get those uh, raised garden beds going and see if we can get some dirt in them, maybe. Yeah, that'd be good. Actually, I need to get the two per in front. Oh, power with, surge. With the arbor. Oh. Wow, amperage. Out the ears. Okay, that's enough of that. Need the window open? No, because then I'll be complaining about how freezing cold I am. Okay. Just give it twenty seconds. It'll be. Hey, we we had a we had a shout out for everybody that's in. You want to do that? I think we should say hi to everybody instead of just talking amongst ourselves, right? So, so Alexander. Alexander. Dark he was in here first. Was pretty first. He slid in first. And then right behind that, R and W. Tony Walsh. Is Tony in here. Walsh. He's in the house. Let the party commence. Mr. and Mrs. Walter Job. Hello. Welcome. Peoples. Very nice to see you. Trish Keen's in. Trish Keen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love us some Trish. And of course, our lovely Hovita. and Hovita. And oh, Jan's in. Jan's there. Hi, Jan. Um, Susan Gachi with Herb and Bucket. Well, hello, gorgeous. We're, I haven't done anything with the chat since we were yeah, you showing haven't. off the stuff. So we're I was kind of way, stuff, so way, we're way behind. behind. Way behind. That's kind of what we do. 
prepping oh, prepping for, for heaven's here. Lori's here. Hi. Oh, why rock? Why yo? Jason and Tara. Uh, Jason and Tara have got some excitement coming up. Yes. I'm not spilling any beans. No. All I'm saying okay. is y'all need, need to, to be tuned in. Channel. See what they're doing. There's some stuff happening. Teresa Jukowitz is in. Hi, Teresa. Um, Lone, Lone Cross. Cross. That's Scotty. That's Scotty. Hello, Scotty. He was going as Scotty to hottie. Now he is, um, I think his, his granddaddy gave him that moniker. And so that's what he oh, went back to. Okay. Um, let's see. Thingies and th lots of thingies. Lots of thingies. Let's see. My sister and brother over there at White Rock, they get me. Charlene Grady is in. Hello, Hello Charlene. Debbie Drock. Oh, we're we are so crazy. Fire and fire. Hello. Welcome in, everybody. Thanks for coming. James Hall. Hall. Beth Cornette. Hope you're doing well tonight. Hi, peeps. Beth says. Rainy Ridge. Look at this. this. All right. So got, the party, this got, party starts we now. We got our peoples here. We got our people. Debbie here. Drock. <clears throat> oh, hey, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. Leonard Mountain, Leonard Mountain Homestead. Homestead's in. Hi there. Hi there. Beth Cornette. I know you said her before, but she needed it twice. She she did. Yeah. Almost there. And we're unless it jumps again. And there. Nope. <laughs> yes, happy Easter. Happy Easter, Miss Charlene Grady pointed that out. Isn't this amazing? This is gonna be a wonderful Easter yeah, weekend. Yeah. We're gonna smoke a ham on the on the grill how you gonna fit it in the papers here, 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 here. oh stop it christy smith is here hello everyone she it says. gets old every time dave from ohio hello hello treasure hunter neil why golly don't we have okay. some fun people we, we have got, fun people stan the man said the man Oh, there's Dale. Hi, Dale. Dale. Hi, Melvin Hi, and Donnie. Maker Farm, Family Farms. Thank you for coming over. Melvin and Donnie is in. I just said that. Oh, I, okay. Um, see, I just sleep at the wheel. Yeah, well, that's just me. Probably don't do that if you're on a boat. No, don't. Hey, speaking of. What? Do we want to start tackling the pontoon boat? We got, we got plants so we need the nana nine acres is in as well Hello, Ooh, nana. hi lisa dale did me a man he was not feeling good and he barely had any voice but yet there. he spent all kinds of time talking to me i need i needed some guidance this week i was traveling through the red heifers and they built the altar they built the sacrificial op altar at the temple on the they hill. Did. Yep. And okay. they have they have moved the heifers. Okay. So lots lots happening then. Um yeah, so Dale is a sweetheart. hundred percent. Dale did a, a solid by giving her some guidance and some yep. advice. Yep. So we'll greatly appreciate that, Dale. I go I was raised with the Bible, y'all. I went to private Lutheran schools, went through the whole thing, and looked around one day and saw how hypocritical it was, and I walked away. I had just gotten a gullet full, and I walked away. And then something happened in 1994, and I got my butt back to church. But it was a Baptist church. Now we consider ourselves non-denominational. We're... 100% Bible based. That's all we do. We we don't identify with any denomination per se. Anyway, tripping through the whole Bible thing again. It, as much as it was crammed down my throat as a kid, I never read it like I'm reading it now and just totally getting into it so that's mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. And she really enjoys uh, digging with the sisters. Digging, digging in the word with digging the sisters. Digging in the word 
with four sisters yes. on Mondays. Yes. Those gals have a have a lot of fun on there. Oh yeah, everybody's on got Monday a, nights. Yeah, everybody's got a different perspective, and it's kind of neat. It's very cool. Yes, thank you, Tony. We uh we hit that six hundred point. Thank you very much. We lost two today. I've seen that. So y'all check to make sure you're still subscribed because YouTube YouTube gives and then it takes away and then it gives and it takes away. So check to make sure you're still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Yeah. That's right, Trish. It's all about the relationship you have. Yeah, that's all it is. I, should, I have been known to spend a day digging through the body. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oops. Um, so, yeah, this, this weekend um, is going to be a busy, busy weekend. Um, gonna... We're not going to grind it out. Oh, we're not? We're No. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do some drone time. We're gonna do some grill time. Yeah. We're gonna work on a couple of videos for a couple of collabs we're right. involved with. Gotta gotta get some footage for that there. Is the there's what? a net flying around in here. Stupid. It's that time of the year. Yeah. It was 76.543 degrees today. And now everything's out again. Next up on a thousand. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And we'll get there. A little help yeah. with our friends. Yeah. A little help from our friends. How about how's that song? I get by I with a little help, help from my friends. friends. I get by with a little help from my friends. I'll say. I... <laughs> okay, that's enough. I'm done. Yeah, that's enough. I'm sorry. I'm being silly. Um, let's see what else we're going to try to design or figure out how we're going to lay out the chicken coop, the coop for the new chicks. Yeah. Um, we've got a, you haven't done it. You haven't put anything out on that. I yet, haven't, have no, I haven't done that. Okay. And I haven't, I haven't done my drawing yet either. My graph paper is in a box somewhere. I just checked and was unsubbed, but I just watched your cat video today. So, see what I mean? YouTube is doing their cleanse or whatever they do of channels. If you don't, I I don't know. I I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. But I think how Thank it you, works. Yeah. If you don't go in and at least watch a video and drop a comment, they figure you're just a uh, nothing, and they remove you, which I think is. I was gonna say it bull hockey yeah thanks everybody I'm for, sorry hope you're hope you're enjoying the making of the garden area um what is jan go bam what is jan bamming about bam 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 what are you bamming about bam i don't know she said your garden area looks good prepping for heaven hi Lori. it's always having friends in low places well that's true too Where's Mickey? Where's Mickey? There he is. I didn't. Oh, there they Cutter are. Creek. Hi, Mickey. Still sub. I'm sorry to hear about Harley. I hope everything turns out okay. Harley's his little dog. Oh, Jan says, I like to say bam. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. It is a fun word. I dig it too. That was, that's considered a, um, violent word nowadays isn't it are we gonna get canceled yeah bam youtube's gonna <laughs> youtube's gonna say no you can't do that bam goes the pew pew mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> now i'm in yeah well i don't know we're not monetized <laughs> bam bam, bam. <laughs> the Mexican Viking Moses. It, uh, well, Moses hey Leonard. Moses, thanks for coming in, friend. I need to check and make sure I'm subscribed to you, friend. Yeah, I need to take my own advice. He's going to be working on all his stuff too. Yeah, 
Got to show them the love. Yeah. Got to get them some numbers. That's right. Got to get them up there. Speaking of Emerald, what's cooking? Muriel, Muriel. again. Mm -hmm. What's cooking? So I'm doing some prosciutto wrapped asparagus to go with the smoked ham. And I'm still working it out in my head. I'm going to try to make a jelly roll, a carrot cake. It sounds lovely. Right. You know, one thing I don't have that I kind of need for all the things. Oops. Heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Do we, there's a, no. there's a. It's green. Trip into. It's green. Well, then, yeah, don't use that one. <laughs> it's not green. a big deal because it's, it's not a big deal. It was if I was going to make that, uh, that pineapple salad that I like to make yeah. in the spring. Yeah. But you don't really eat that much anyway. You don't care for that too much. Not too much. And it makes a big batch. And if I make a batch, I eat a big batch and then, oh, no. And you get and sick. And that's not good. And that's that's not, not good. Yeah, no. So, why rock? Laura's head. Said, Ooh, well, that's, that's a dangerous place. Yeah. It's like, Karen's it's like they in. know me. It's like they know me. Jan says she's coming to our house. Who is? Jan is. After you load up and come out. After you started mentioning an Easter dinner. Yeah. Oh, Jason last night, he was busting my chops on somebody's live last night that no, I didn't get an invitation. So I texted him really fast and I said, even, and he was right there on panel and I texted him right there and I invited him. So he couldn't say he would, and he looked at the text and then he texted me back and he said, Oh, love you so much for inviting us, but we're going to have friends over. And I'm like, <laughs> Dirk, yeah, see, you just called us out on live YouTube and everything. Charlene's doing a ham and a cheesecake for dessert. Maybe I'll make a cheesecake, a carrot cheesecake. Ooh, that sounds good. Don't deep dive into Lauren's head. Mm -hmm. Well, at least it's not shallow. So Trish, Trish wants to come too. Love carrot cake. But I'm the only one in the family that does. What oh Mariel's asking what time? So <clears throat> when Joel and I got married, it was a very quiet oh, affair. Gosh. And I was getting all ambitious. I had not ever done this before. I wasn't really much of a good cook when we got married. I knew some basics. But when you have somebody who appreciates good food, you want to you want to do good food and do it well and often. Well, anyway, to get back to the point, when we got married, it was a very small affair. We quietly went and got married, and then we had a reception at home after I made our wedding cake. It was a beautiful thing. It was carrot cake. And I thought I did a very nice job of decorating yes. it for my first time doing anything like that. And, and you know, it had multi-tiers, and it had the pillars in between the tiers, and I had fresh roses on it and it was beautiful. And I put it on the buffet. In fact, that buffet right there behind me, it was in front of our, um, what do you, our bay window. It was in front yeah. of the bay window. And I had it displayed there. So, you know, it was pretty. When you walked in, you saw that, you signed the guest register, and it was fun. It also got very hot. Yeah, very hot. And I walked in during the party and half of the cake had slid off and it was on the floor and the dogs were going burp. Oops. 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 But I took pictures of it before it slid off and fell. <laughs> Memories. Yeah. Make sure you don't have, you know, iced up cake in a hot area. A tiered iced up cake. In yeah. Area. Especially not in this Doesn't, house with all the inclines we have here. Oh, geez. Oh, man. I'd be a skateboarding cake. It, it, it ended up in the pond. The pond or something. Yeah, yeah, that would be bad. Then we'd have fish all drunk on carrot cake and cream cheese frosting. No. It would be bad. 
Hey, but the fish would probably be happy. It would make them too heavy to swim, though, maybe. Yeah. They wouldn't want to fight much. They'd be like, just hook me. Bring me in. Either that or they'd be high on sugar and just... Zoom! ADD fish? Yeah. Zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> be fun. Yeah. So yeah. what else do you want to get done this weekend? I There's think, so many things that we talk I, about. I and, then they, and then we get they, down to it and it's like, let's go take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> that works in the winter, but it doesn't work this time of year. Holy cow, do we have a lot. I need to get the grass cut. As soon as it is dry enough oh, to yeah, do so tomorrow, I need to cut the grass. Yes. So don't tie up my tractor. Don't no. be making plans with my tractor. No, don't have just maybe two other crates at some point in time, but that's... Quick. What? Christine. Mm -hmm. Miss Christine. One of the four Gilbert. sisters. There she is. Hello, Miss Christine. It is so lovely to see you. I just love her. Her entire spirit is happy. Grass, what's that? Yeah, you got mud. And you, rocks. You can, you can have the mud. And, and rocks. No. We have rocks here, too. Yeah, I think that's just... It's par Arkansas. For the, par for the course in Arkansas. It's Arkansas. No. You know what's killing me with this whole who talked? It makes my book. You're moving the thing, oh. and I. No, it's going that fast. You, we got like people in here. They're... Well, sometimes cookies are a good thing, they're good for the soul. Sometimes they're always good. Sometimes. Who, whoever says sometimes cookies are good. People who are on diets and trying to be committed to that diet. That's who. <clears throat> the most stress I ever had in life was growing up with a mother that made wedding cakes and enlisted me to help deliver. Oh, them. no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's a lot of stress there. It is Jesus shining, Christine. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. It's just all over you. Yeah. Oh, road trips, life, and redux is in. Well, hello. Uh, I just. See, everybody's wanting to do road trips. Road trips. High road trips and redux. Okay. Draw the line from A to B. Okay. Don't need that. Kind Nobody of needs that kind of negativity in their life. See? That's right. See? We're balancing everything out. I'm making asparagus in a light Italian vinaigrette wrapped in prosciutto and lightly grilled. It is so tasty. With just the lightest little sprinkling of Asiago over the top. Jesse's girl at Lazy Days Ahead is in. Miss Lisa. Hi. Thank you. We got I, sh I showed course. I showed all your stuff earlier. You can watch it on Rewind. The magnet, stuff on the refrigerator. My little chickens. I love them. I love them. They match my new chicks. Oh, Mariel says, made your peanut butter cookies for my nephew and his boss. Hoarded them. <laughs> now, if you want to take them another level, drizzle a little chocolate over the top. You don't even have to get fancy. But just drizzle a little. Tastes just like oh. Reese's peanut butter cups. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, it's one no. of his favorites. Um, no. I didn't used to like peanut butter cookies but no you didn't that, you didn't used to like a lot of stuff and i'm like just try it shut up and eat it but the one thing we both agree on eggplant is a big nopey nope here no wait jason doesn't like asparagus that's his prerogative he doesn't have to like it if he doesn't want to like it it's really good with the prosciutto on there oh my goodness you 
don't know that. He maybe has different taste buds than you do. It's okay, Jason. Oh, Mr. And Mrs. Walter Jones says, I love roasted asparagus, air fried. Yeah, 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 a little bit of olive oil. Oh, yeah. No, no. Any, <laughs> James Hall, anything green you can keep. Yeah, eggplant stinks. Okay, mental note to self. If you ever come for dinner, I'll let your asparagus sit out in the sun for a few hours and turn brown. Does that count? <laughs> Look, it's chocolate asparagus. Eat it. You'll like it. Good Creek, grown a burrito tree. You you send me some of those seeds and, and we'll have a burrito forest. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Send me burritos. Send me burritos. Well, it didn't really rhyme or anything. It really didn't even make any sense. I'm just Hobita, Hobita loves eggplant. There's more of it in the world <laughs> for you. Trish has never met a cookie that I uh, didn't like. Well, hey, there's Scott. 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 with the brooms. That was a great live tonight, Brent. That was a lot of fun. Nicely done. How much did you have to pay Johnny to show up? <laughs> just asking. Uh, where am I at here? Do you have a good broccoli salad recipe? That'd I do. And again, um, so whenever I make like a vegetable salad like that, I, I tend to either make it with a Caesar type dressing or a nice vinaigrette just to keep it on the lighter. Um, you can get fancy if you want to. One of the things that I found works really nicely is a raspberry vinaigrette with the broccoli and then just toss in whatever other vegetables you want in there go crazy with it if you like a warm salad you could lightly steam your broccoli and go ahead and do up some of those little um golden russet potatoes the little fingerlings cut them into halves or quarters Cook them up until they're just tender. Add those in. Toss it all together with that vinaigrette. Throw in a little bit of bacon. So Scott says he's cheap. So Who's cheap? As far as Johnny. How do, how do you get Johnny? Johnny's cheap. Yeah. David Moffat's in. Sorry. Well, hey, David. You're not late, buddy. You are not late, friend. Christine is going for the night. Good night, Christine. Good night, Thanks Ms. for Christine. stopping in. Thank you for coming in. Have a blessed weekend. Oh, road trips? Curious, did uh, Jet, it's Jinx. That's all right. Uh, survive after your video of the chicken cage. He is such a jerk. I don't know if you... I'm wounded. <laughs> He's just that fast. He just... And his nails are very sharp. Yeah, they are. You can hear them in the middle of the night. So broccoli, ranch or cheese? Don't get so fancy with it, he says. No getting fancy. Okay, boo. Oops. Where is Troy Sutton? Did, did, did you miss Troy him? Sutton coming in? Did you miss Troy? I must have. I don't see, but he's I'm, so sweet. He I'm, sent me he sent me an email today. He did. Yeah. He was just asking my opinion on some stuff. We need to show him a lot of love, y'all. I yeah. think he's close to dropping a channel. I think he's gonna create a channel and I think it's gonna be amazing. So we need to throw him some love. Yeah. Um missed something did, you yeah you miss a lot of stuff i know i'm missing it's hard to keep up how are the baby checks well there, that's what amy I'm they have doubled in size in a week they are getting huge i see i need to stop that see how i'm see how i'm looking at me yeah i have to look at the camera right there right there i'm gonna try to do and i'm just I'm trying gonna to keep try up to do with better the chat. Than that. <laughs> Stan wants ice cream. Oh, we have that big thing of ice cream out oh, there. Oh, yeah, we do. You know what? Why don't I make some ice cream cones at some point this weekend? I'll make some waffle cones. Okay. See, I got a, a 
waffle cone maker thingy sure. last sure. year, and I never used it once. We have this wonderful ice cream maker too. See, I'm looking down here again. Now I don't know how to talk. Oh, one thing about the chicks, we had put a, a mirror <laughs> in with the baby chicks. And it's, it's you talk framed, about Bain? It's a framed, it's a framed um, Dollar Tree mirror. And these little girls are all the way vain. They're all up in there, all looking at themselves, pushing each other one, out of the way. I seen one flipping her feathers back. It was, it was. And they're talking about lip gloss, lip gloss cover colors that they want to get at Ulta. And I'm like, girls, the mirror's coming out if you don't behave yourselves. I, I thought it would be cute to have it in there, but you they're know, not they're very gonna, ladylike, though. They're gonna be that way and start There's, getting all uppity. No, but you know what's funny about them? When they when they go poopy, they're funny. They they kind of squat down and they back Get up a couple of steps, them. wiggle their tails, and as soon as they're done, zoom. Amy's asking, do we need to bring extra chairs for dinner on Sunday? Oh, that would be helpful. Don't tease me with a good time. That's right. Do not tease me with a good time. If you're coming, bring it. Must love pet hair. Yeah, that's that's a that's a must. That's a one hundred percent rule here. You, if you don't like pet hair, then get off I guess your furniture. I guess you're staying outside. No. Uh, when Jason and Tara came to visit, I was quite embarrassed with these two huge Bernese mountain dogs. And they just loved Tara. They would not leave her alone. They were leaning on her and rubbing all over her. And I'm like, oh, geez, oh, I'm sorry about the hair. She was cool, though. Yeah, she was saying that. Uh, she was going to take her home. I'm like. <laughs> she was saying her anti mills are the same way. So it was cool. So if you're like that, you're welcome here. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, James. That'd be awesome to have you. Aw. Well, maybe at some point you're going to make it this way, you know? That Joel Durbin. Hello, Joel. If you snuck in earlier, sorry, I didn't see you. Love that bench. What bench, honey? This one back here, it's a buffet. Is that what you're talking? It's a buffet. Yeah, couldn't have them locked up while we were there because they were whining so much. I know. I want to people. I want a people. I know. And we're getting ready to add to it. We're getting ready to add to the little farm. So we are getting another goat. <coughs> you can't just have one goat. And we found out, if you looked at our video a couple videos back, I got pow power. I got power. I got power. I got plowed over. What? What the hell? I got to pay. Yeah, because I, I don't have a blue crayon to suck on. Anyway, here's a blue pen. Put that down. It's oh. poisonous. Anyway, very angry goat, huge dog, me, and I took the brunt of it, and I went flying. But I edited all the colorful stuff out. Yeah. It was bad. Anyway, she does not play well with all the dogs. Now, Sierra, our golden retriever, she loves that dog. But it's just not enough. She doesn't have another goat to do goat things with. Yeah. So we have a friend here whose granddaughter raises goats. The same kind of goat Millie is. So we're getting a little doling. Later this spring. And then we'll have a little one prong around. And her, we're going to breed so that I can get some milk production going. Need to make my soap and stuff. So Jan says, goat butt headed the dog. She was trying to save your life. That's one way to look. No, she waited until the <laughs> dog down was the down on top of me. 
And she kind of thought about it for a minute and then she went, yeah, horns down and engage. Poof. That's right, Trish. And here it comes with the territory with the pit. <clears throat> we try to keep it to a minimum. But burrs only, they only shed twice a year for six months at a time. Each. So yeah, they shred. They shed all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I, we're I not having any other way though. I think we love our pups. I think we should do. We got invited to take part in a <clears throat> a fishing collab. So I'm thinking we're going to do a little bit of fishing this weekend. Are we? Well, we have the poles and stuff out in the shop. And yeah. as hungry as they are, we really don't need anything other than a hook and a worm. String is all old, though. Okay, and here's another thing, I too. Guess. So if we go up to Bass Pro Shop, Ooh. see, I used to when I lived here before, but I lived way up in northwest Arkansas. We would go every year. We would We would make that trip to Bass Pro Shop in Springfield every year. It's a whole caravan of us. Yeah. All of us did the Bassmaster Classics and stuff. Yeah. We need to go up there. And there is a Bucky's up there now. Yeah. That's we what need to get saying. us some beaver nuggets, babies. Beaver. And some jerky. And two hand towels. And a plaque. Oh, can't forget a magnet. And we need a magnet. Yeah. 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 They're in... Uh, I peed at Bucky's cleanest restrooms in America. Used to live over on the east side of Colorado growing up, and we'd go over to um, the Bass Bureau over in Nebraska. And Lauren has been telling me that that one doesn't hold a, a candle at all oh, to no. the one up in Missouri, so... Was it? Um, is there a Bass to. Pro up there? It was Cabela's. No, there was Bass. It was Cabela's, and it ran the town up there. Was it Cabela's? Yeah, it was Cabela's. That was Cabela's headquarter up there. Yeah, because then Bass Pro moved into Denver, yep. and that was, okay, never mind. I don't know what. Memories. Don't mind, don't mind me at all. Memories. I don't have. Because <laughs> I lost my mind a long ago. Yeah. Anyway, so I think a trip to Bass Pro would, and you put it in my head. You're the one who brought it up, and you know why oh, you did. Sorry. I you did had a plan. I'm just so sorry. He knew that if he said, or we could just go to Bass Pro, I'd be like, no. But then Miss Christine was talking about how when they head to Palm de Terre for Jan's meetup, yeah. they have to go by way of Springfield, and it's on your route anyway. It's not it's not gonna take you out of the way to go from where you are to go through Springfield. You gotta go anyway. <clears throat> so yeah, go. Take John, Johnny's in. Hello, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Welcome. Thank you for stopping by today. See, I'm trying to get used to it, and I keep going back down here. I'm looking down here. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> not sorry. Team Joel. <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> okay so this is where i i insert the cautionary tale mm -hmm. i know where you sleep and uh -huh. i cook for you yep be careful yep i'm glad i threw away all those uh boxes of x-lax too oh you didn't get them all <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah no hmm. No, I knew somebody was diddling into my stash. Yeah, once the memory goes, forget it. Yeah. <laughs> get it, get it. Once the memory goes, forget it. Yeah. Get it. <laughs> forget it. That was so corny. It was funny. Where's the cookies? Stan wants to know. Where's the cookies? Oh, what I kind do you I want, Stan? I ate them, Stan. Sorry. He did. I fixed another batch this past weekend. All gone. She makes these, she's she's taking cake mix. Yeah. 
and and making cookies. And I throw in add-ins and call it good. Yeah, when I don't have a whole lot of time, I do that. It's just bing, bang, boom, done. Add a little cream cheese to the whole deal. Oh, yeah, Tara, thanks for that tip. Oh, Virginia just came in. Virginia Alexander. Hello, sweet friend. Good. Thank you very much for the wonderful card. This made my day. We were showing everybody at the at the start of the at video. At the very beginning, yep. Hang on. We're getting fuzzy again. Um, and congratulations. You guys just celebrated your, your 65th. That is amazing. Simply amazing. Congratulations. I, I told the chat here that uh, not all heroes wear capes. Some of them wear aprons and tool belts. Congratulations on that. Of all the things that Trish has lost. I miss my mind the most. The mind that she misses the most. Yeah. That's why we're doing this YouTube thing, guys. Yeah. It'll always be brand new. Never a rerun That's as right. we get older. That's right. Look at those silly kids building that chicken coop and doing all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was our it was the camera. Uh, your 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 snacks, cold snackies are not playing into that yet. They have I just wanna, but I'm not going to. They've got things. And Dale is in. Hello, Ann Dale. Thank you welcome, for coming welcome. in. She's another sweetheart. Man, I mean she is chock full of wisdom. Go check her out. Our camera is really, is it, is our camera fuzzy? Is it really fuzzing up bad? It looks fuzzy on, on our side. Can you, can you change the definition yeah, on StreamYard? I'll see if people are noticing that and then I'll kind of tweak it a little bit. <clears throat> what is that brand thing up there? What is that? That's where all the logos and overlays and colors see and we should put our we should put our logo in there we have to we'll do that another time oops in, okay so now you're just being i'm pushing buttons a little fuzzy okay, okay so not fuzzy here a little fuzzy okay look okay all right um maybe if i hold still the logos the extra stuff to be able to add to StreamYard. We have to pay for we it. We have to pay for I'm it. I'm so tired of being nickel and dime to death. Everything. Everything is designed to part you from your money. By the way, if you want a t-shirt, they're $29.95. <laughs> Just push the button. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, Although I am going to make us a couple of t-shirts. Here's what's going on. God's Scott's life is Scott's in. Life. How about them shenanigans? I know, right? We're shenanigans in. We're having fun. We love our Friday nights. It's nice to be able to hang out with y'all. See what y'all are up to. Um, so there's a chance of rain, I think, on Sunday. There's a chance of rain. And if it does that, I'm going to bust out with the heat press and I'm going to make us a couple of making at home t shirts. We're going to see how they go over. And if they go over well, we're going to start designing our merch line. Um, I, don't, I don't think you saw it last night. Jason showed our cap. Oh, very cool. With Thanks. everybody else's, but he Thanks, showed Jason. our cap. Thanks, Jason. And then he just kind of put it off to the side. So he was saying, you know how to take care of the nickel and dime issue. Don't carry nickels and dimes. Duh. Duh. See, my hands are small. They're too small to do a roll of quarters, so I do a roll of dimes. It kind of. Oh no! Wait, we we don't we don't do that anymore. We're in Arkansas. There's no need for that. Never mind. Good advice. So Jen says she needs to order caps. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay. Thank you for that. 
Definitely do that. Unisex barbecue style, or should I do some that have the frilly? What would you like to see? That would be fun. Jan's needing some help, Mickey. Set up her store. <laughs> Your hat is awesome. Stand by for more doings of it. Hint, hint. Joel says, yes, aprons. Okay. That's okay. And that's that's easy enough to do. And Rainy Ridge says, do both. Well, why not? I mean, since I'm there anyway. That's a great idea, you guys. So... Make it at home cutting boards. I don't want, I don't want one of those caps at making it home. You don't want one, or you want one. I, I, that's I don't kind of, want I don't. one of those caps at making it home. I reverse. Reverse. Alvita says, "How about making it home cutting boards, laser engraved? Always." Well. <laughs> There's somebody here who got one of those. A couple of people got those. David Moffat says, <clears throat> Moffat says he just wants his stand up with all the time. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. buddy. Jeez. Yeah, buddy. Habanero pineapple sauce. I'm just drooling for I want to try it. I want to try it on like a good piece of pork. <laughs> Can you give one free for bringing it up? Oh, why not? Why don't we just give all hint, the hint, store away? Hint, okay. Hint. We'll just hand out things willy-nilly. Are you coming to 10 Killer? Make sure the apron has pockets. Love pockets in my aprons. Oh, you can't have an apron without a pocket or five. Jan says she would save a lot of money if she wore a pocket or wore an apron with pockets. True that. Especially if you're a YouTuber, you got to have pockets for all the batteries and the cards and the things and all the thingies and the bobbies. And... David says, make mine scratch and sniff. Okay, that sounds like a little personal thing there, David. So that one's, I'm going to leave that to you. That one's uh, barbecue sauce from. Oh, that was. Sauce, uh, 1994, <laughs> Fort Silly. Uh, she was a good goat. She, okay, if you've been there, you know. Talk about nickel and dimes, Joel says. How about them nickels? How about them dimes? We don't do them well. End of story. And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> Just says, never understood why they don't put pockets in everything. 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 I'm threatening to get another pair of bib overalls, but you know what? I nixed it again on myself because I think I want to go with like a I would rather just do like an um Oh, think what the Mennonite or Amish women wear for their work aprons. They're they're big. They're yeah. long. They they're yeah. very long, and they cover yeah. <clears throat> Over a cute pair of leggings. I think I'm down for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got to keep the sexy in the homestead. You know what I mean? I keep them on their toes. Oh, and the neighbors. At home. That was reverse psychology trying to get a hat. Oh. <laughs> Mickey, are you coming to the meetup at 10 Killer? Just let me know. If you're coming to any of the meetups around here, let me know. I will hook you up, my friend. <laughs> so Joel says, make, making stuff for the store, you get nickels and dimes. <laughs> See, we're a little slow. <laughs> Don't mind us. It's been a hard week. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mickey. Oh, yeah, smack. <laughs> Wait, where's the shiny stuff? It's over there, man. I keep looking at it. Mm. 
Yeah. Women's PJs never have pockets. I don't know where you're getting your PJs at, but I got pockets on mine. I think I had to put them there, but I got pockets on mine. Oh, yes, we'll be a 10 killer. Okay. Let's see. I'm writing it. Look, on my chicken notepad, I'm writing it down right now. So here's the problem, Joel or James. Squirrel, rabbit, beaver, raccoon. They're all floating around up up in there. They just yeah. I got it here, buddy. I will make you a hat. I will hand it to you myself. Hunt me down at 10 killer. I'll be the chick with a wagon full of cobblers. Oh, did I tell you we were getting a collapsible wagon? A collapsible wagon? Mm -hmm. It's like a beach wagon with big wheels. Okay. Well, honey, the size of those cobblers, it, they're huge. Yeah. And, they're, and there's going to be like five of those and then three of the other ones. One for Jason. Yes. One for Drew. Yes. And another one for somebody, and I can't remember. Remind me. I think I think that was for this one. But was I doing that for I yes, it was for okay. So one for Jason. She's also getting that one other for thing Drew, too. And did you already make the thing? No, I haven't yet. I haven't done mine either, but I'll get it done. We're just we're just talking amongst ourselves. Sorry, didn't yeah. mean to be rude. Hi. Really we got a lot of stuff to do. Before we have a lot killer. of stuff to do before 10 killer. Yeah. Holy smogoli. I need to hit it rich. So Critter Creek, their first live will be a 10 killer. Really? That's that, going to be, be fun. off the chain. Joel said, just bring an 18 wheeler for the top left. A mm, little overkill. Laura, you worked on the chain gang. Yeah, she was saying she wore smocks when she worked on the chain gang. You know how that Jan is always hanging out with the ruffians. She, somebody's got to keep them in line, right, Jan? Yeah, yeah. I Trish, feel you. Trish needs a new sewing machine. Yeah, they're not inexpensive anymore, are they? Golly. The price yeah. of everything. Yeah. Okay, I'm I don't go political here, but here's what I'm gonna say. See how I see how I did that? I don't go political, but now I'm gonna tell you what I mean. Vote in November. Vote, 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 vote. I don't care how you vote, it's none of my business how you vote. Just vote. Do it. We'll grab our country back. Hey, James Hall says he can drive the 18 wheeler. Yeah. All right. I can too. I don't guarantee that the gears will be in good shape when I get to my destination, but I can drive them. So, Laurie Prepping for Evan, I really did. I used to work for Rex Chain Belt. Oh, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Oh, and my, my snickerdoodles? Amy yeah. Wanted to do the snickerdoodles. Amy's super simple. And they're fun. Get the kids involved. They like making little balls with their hands, and it's good for development of their motor skills. Yeah, so David David Moffitt's going live tomorrow at 7, and he's going to have some special guests, he says. So hey, kill. Make sure people tune in. Check out David. Yep. I'll be there if I don't have other stuff going on, David. Oh, you know what? Ziggy, set a notification. One new notification. No, no, no. Ziggy, stop. Stop, stop. Ziggy, what stop. Are, Ziggy, what, stop. What, what, Ziggy, what, stop. Why? Ziggy, what stop. What are you doing? I was going to set a notification to remind me. David Moffat, 7 o'clock. You ever seen one of these? Give me that. <laughs> Derek Feller's in. Welcome, Derek. Yeah, I haven't missed anything, Derek. Nothing. 
Nothing's going on here. Oh, oh Joel used to drive for Warner Trucking. Warner? Yep. As long as it wasn't Swift. You're good. Shh. Okay, I got you down, David. Barring a calving mishap, we'll be there. Oh, thanks, Xander, for dropping that. Y'all, the link is in the comments down here where you can get your 10 killer meetup t shirts. <laughs> yes, that was a good burn, wasn't it? <laughs> See, I think, and, I, and I'm trying to work, I tried doing it subtly this week, and this week might not have been a good week to do it. Um, Jared's little dog, Baxter, is having some problems. Uh-oh. That's not good. Something happened to him, got him in the neck, back of the head, and he's got some paralysis going on. So Jared's having to do everything for him. Took him to the vet, started laser treatments on him. He's he's improving. Good night, Moses. Thanks Good night, Moses. Coming. Thank you for coming. But I'm trying to I'm trying to convince him to take a break from all of it. And I know he won't do it because this is his home build. But it wouldn't it be cool if if he grabbed his friend Hovita and they came up to Ten Killer. Mm -hmm. Because then everybody would get to meet Hovita, and Hovita's right now. She's cussing me out. I can hear. I can hear her. I can hear her cussing me out. Use your inside voice, Hovita. <laughs> Would that be fun? We got a photo bummer in the background, right, right there. Jinx, what are you doing? Don't be such a little heathen all the time. I don't have an aerosol can. That doesn't work either. Yeah, doesn't He's work. figured that one out. Okay, he says, I'm down. <laughs> I wasn't doing anything, Mom. I was just over here. You're such a heathen. Did you come back to smell the blood you drew from me? Jerk. I feed you. Yeah, what else we got going on, babes? Better Mountain Homestead is going, going as well. Thanks for coming in. Good night, Amy. Amy. Thank you for coming in, Amy and Chris. Lauren, we love you and Joel. Jared's got a lot of going on. Yeah, I know. Doesn't everybody it's nowadays? It's wishful thinking. I just thought it would be cool, and it'd be a way to get you up here. I really want to meet you. I don't know. You were really my you were really my first friend on YouTube. And you've been such a good friend. Thanks, Hovita. Um, three minutes. Yeah. But you know what we found out today? That if we want to go later, we can. I don't know. Is anybody in the uh, anybody in the chat up for an after party? You know, just a small little gathering on camera, all of us. Drop a link if you're interested. Drop a comment if you're interested in doing a little after party tonight. So Beth Cornett, Neil drove for Swift. He's getting a lawyer. I don't blame him. I wasn't going to say anything. I wasn't going to say anything. But good. I hope he does. That was the hugest racket going on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hire on bonus. And we're going to train you. We're going to do. Yeah. You ended up owing them your paycheck at the end of it. It turned into a class action lawsuit. This representation. Alexander's out too. Good night. Good night, Alexander. Alexander. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah, we'd like to see everybody at Ten Killer. Um, I know a lot of you are not close, but uh, thank you for the support. Yeah. And always showing up. Always showing up. Always a kind really. word. We Canadian, appreciate you. Canadian Family Life just stepped in. Hello. We have, I mean, we've 
we have like the best subscribers. Well, of course we do. And it's so fun because okay. every single one of them I see in the other chats, it's hard to get around to all the channels because we love so many of them and I only have so many hours in a day. It's always so nice to run into all of these people in the various chats. Lone Cross, yeah. Al, Cap, Al Capone. Yes, he is. Yes, that was quite clever today. Yes, I killed it that. He, I was on the phone with Joel. He had called on his break, and I was reading it to him. I said, ah, oh, he called him Al Capone. <laughs> it was funny. Good night, Teresa. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thanks for stopping in. <sighs> Beverly Moffat's in. Did you see Beverly what? Moffat? Did you say hi to Beverly Moffat? Beverly Moffat. Did Go I up, miss? Up, up, Beverly. See? Oh, she's right there. there. She hi, Beverly. Hi, Beverly. Welcome in. Nobody sticks Beverly in the corner. Nobody. Nobody. Um, oh, I tell you what. It, my feet are sore. They're not yeah. sore because I've been on them a lot. They're sore because 150 pounds of dog keeps stomping on them. Well, don't let them stomp on them. I try not to. Have you seen the dance I, I do? I'd let you use my steel toe boots, but I've, I've got to wear those for work. I just need to wrap myself in bubble wrap. Maybe live in a bubble. I'll see if I can't bring with home butterflies some from work. Fairy tale. Huh? I'll see if I can't bring home some more. From no, work. don't. I need to toughen up. Okay. I've gotten soft. It's all those years living in town. Yeah. Ten true. years of living in town, people. I'm a country girl. I did not fit in there. People gave me the side eye all the time. What the hell is she doing? Is she what is? Is that a garden? Yeah. Deleted a comment. Who's who's being? Who deleted a comment? Jan deleted a comment. Oh. Give me a call later. Tell me what. I can't imagine well, anybody in I, here saying anything naughty. Not intentionally. Townie. Soft, soft, soft. Yeah. Definitely. I've always lived in a town setting. I've never You're not you're not soft though. See, I got very accustomed to just picking up the phone and calling and saying, yeah. T-bone for two, uh, one, sauteed mushrooms, the, and it was delivered. Yeah. And then since we've gone anti-restaurant and all that stuff, I mean, yeah, I kind of had to learn how to cook and cook well. That was crazy. Anyway. Jen says it wasn't bad. I actually like hit the wrong button. Oh, okay. I'm like, I cannot imagine anybody who's in here saying anything naughty. That's just not who everybody is. Yeah, it was just a, a comment from David Moffat to, to Jim, and she hit the wrong button. Um, I Like I said, I've always lived in a town setting. I grew up in a little town mm -hmm. and then graduated to a bigger town and then went back to a little town, but then that little town turned into a bigger a way town. way bigger town. And it was way it, the size that the town was did not have the the infrastructure yeah for the type of growth that it experienced and it just it, it grew up by in, in the last two years alone over 30,000 homes were built i mean it blew up and after they got done doing that and all these people were moving in they went oopsies we, we don't have, have enough water for all of this. We should have done something different. But, you know, now that we're here, been here for a year, yeah. and I'm absolutely loving this. You walk outside. Yeah, can't hear You anything. don't hear all the loud giggles, loud kids. You don't hear anything but you nature. Hear the, you hear the birds. Yeah. And it's just absolutely awesome. And an occasional drunk trying to find his way home after tripping through fishing line. Boom! 
We're not going to tell the, that story tonight. The, uh, but it worked. Man, I <laughs> I can't think. The barbed wire worked really well. Thanks, Jen. The fishing wire, the fishing line at various heights strung out like spider webbing. Oh, yeah, that'll trip somebody up in a heartbeat. Huh. Virginia loves whacking trolls. Come on, sister. I got I got a troll for you to whack at. Whack a troll. <laughs> the adult game. <laughs> Video coming soon. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And so we're getting ready. It's, the hype is really, really crazy now about the eclipse coming up. That's not this coming Monday, but the following Monday. Holy cow, people are already starting to come in for it. We got squatters. We got all kinds of people. They see a patch of land. They drop their camper or their tent, and there they are smoking their bong. We ain't having any of it here. This girl goes out. I'm strapped all the time. You have to be here because um, the wild boars, they're sneaky. They're there before you ever know they're there, and they're super fast. They can be on you and take you just like that. Those wild anti-mules. Yeah. It's always best when you live in the woods to stay strapped up. And the black bears. Black bears are not cute, cuddly little furry creatures. They're not lumbering and they're not, slow. They're not pettable. They go from 0 to 30 in 2.8. They're not pettable. With razor sharp everything. They won't tear you up. Well, they won't tear me up because my bullet's faster than they are. You can't say bullet on YouTube. No, that okay. But we have now we're bullet, gonna get we canceled. Have, no, we have a bullet RV made by Keystone. We're gonna get canceled now. It's the FJB edition. I should take some pictures of that. Guys, I'm kind of tossing around the idea. I know everybody does this, so this is why I'm on the fence, but we're coming up on our one year anniversary of being here. And I'm thinking about doing like a one year compilation type thing. Tell me what you think of it. There wouldn't be a whole lot of talking involved. It'd be more like start to finish, not finish, because we're not finished with it yet, but the one year, what we've done. Yeah. There should be a lot of driving, a lot of nail pounding. Credit Creek, application for my job. No qualification is occasionally have cold beer, very opinionated, but faith filled and fair. Just saying. Derek's wanting a place to squat. Um, Mickey at Critter Creek, would you like to be one of our mods? We would love to have you be a mod if you want to be a mod. Virginia says, had three raccoons went up on daughter's back deck and tore the bird feeders down. They can't get to their chickens. Good. Though. That's good. Yeah. You got to watch that. He, Joel was not real sure why I was adamant about running wire welded wire underneath the entire coop and 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 i and i'm out there and i'm inspecting it and i said if it's bigger than the tip of my thumb it's too big you got close up every gap i had to explain to him why because of what raccoons and possums do to chickens and it is just not good derek for the right price i can hook you up squatters <laughs> Don't squat with your spurs on, no Mickey. Saw a James Hall saw a video of a black bear attack in a wild boar in Gatlinburg, Tennessee today. Isn't oh, that wow. something? Sometimes it's reverse. I mean, it's just it just depends on which one is the bigger, more dominant. Yes, ma'am. I will behave. Well, let's just go ahead and make him a mod. We I love Mickey. I can't do it on here. You got to do it on. Oh, I got to do it over here. On your thingy. Hang on, guys. I got a uh, task. Your, to say, do. your sound's going to be on too. How about if you just relax? I turned the volume all the way down. Wanda Henry just showed up. Hello, Wanda, Wanda. Henry, I haven't seen you in a coon's Welcome age. Welcome in. Hello, Wanda. So nice to see you. Where was I going? Who was I doing? And what was up? Oops. Oh, wait, I can't stand these 
stand the possums, my cats. Let them eat eat their food. You know, possums serve a good purpose, and they look mighty nasty. I don't know where I was going with it. I agree with you. I don't want them in my animal feed. Jerks. Well, I'm trying to figure this one out. So go to the live. I'm trying to find it, honey. I don't, I can't see it. Oh, it's not that though. It's not that at all. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make Mickey a bod. We're I'm working on it. Playlists, your videos. It that's that's not it. Live. There it is. I'm getting there one inch at a time. See what happened was. What was why is it not on the thingy though? Oh, wait. You know what? I get it. Okay. I had to go to the thingy. That's not where I'm finding the thingy. <laughs> oh. That's six Brutus days eats ago. possums. Where is the live from tonight? I don't know. I'm not pushing the buttons. I am like a bum of thing. Let's try it like this. And Judy Herman's in. Sorry if I missed you earlier. It says a little over a year ago, saw a video of a guy sitting on his back porch feeding hot dogs to many raccoons. 400 pounds of hot dogs a week. Holy cow. What? I was married to that guy. Jan says, go to the thingy McGinney. Which one, though, Go to the Jan? one thingy on the... That's what McGinney. I'm looking for. It's not playlists. It's not videos. It's not your thingy. It's not any of that. Not, not lives. It's... No. Do you, do you see where it says lives up here? Do you see where it says lives anywhere? Yeah. I know. Mm -hmm. Technical difficulties. We're having fun right now. Don't forget to push the watch, McCall it, Jane says. Which Mitch McCall it, though? So, my sister was out hiking in Manitou Springs and hiked up, hiked up on a bear. Her dog got between her and the bear and scared it off. That's. That's a good dog. That's good. Hope that dog got a steak. Yeah, she's not she's not seeing the live. I don't I'm not finding her live anywhere. Obviously it's there though, because you guys all found us and you're here. You put some clothes on, young lady. I hate scrolling through. There we are. And if I found it. There it is. I got okay. So she found it. We're onto the thingy. Now I need to find. Long cross says, now hit the doohickey. I'm trying. Stop pushing me, Bunky. No, not those buttons, the other ones. Oh. Guess who? <laughs> That, that's yours, Jason. So, Jason, I'll call you back, okay? That's, that's your ringtone. Well, turn it down or something. It's down all of the way. Okay. Anywho. Well, I guess so, he got even with my butt now, now didn't he? find Critter Creek. That's what I was looking for when, that's what I was looking for. Yeah. Just text you on your own live. Oh. Rambling Peach is in. 
he, you know what? I had it coming to me though. Yep, thunderstruck. Okay, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it, Mickey? Okay. Let's see if he... Mickey, he, you should have a wrench now. See if he's blue and has the wrench. See, everybody knows that tune. Thunderstruck. Yeah. Nobody, nobody say anything, <laughs> though, so YouTube won't know. Yeah, so it was a really interesting afternoon with ringtones. Oh, she was going through a bunch of them. Okay, this sounds like... So Tara is the theme song of the Looney Tunes because it's so fun and it's happy. Jason is thunderstruck because, duh. Oh, Mickey is a mod now. And and Jan is Jan is a a, a disco chicken. And Ginger is Sweet Home Alabama. They don't live in Alabama, but it suited her. Nikki is now a Smurf. You're welcome. We Smurf you. Yeah, she she was going through so many ringtones trying to match up the personality with the tone and it's a vibe. I I just I couldn't figure out what she was doing. You can't figure out paint colors either. Point Sparky. Well, <laughs> see, we give each other guff like that, and that's what keeps us young at heart. Ooh, going across my ringtone, so I was going crazy. Train. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. We are of the same generation. Thunderstruck was the uh, song that they came out, um, Jason, during wrestling in high school. Oh, he said perfect match. I'll be darned. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, oh, you know what else I want to do? Has anybody in here ever made dandelion jelly? If so, I would appreciate a recipe. Drop it in. Because it's dandelion season, and it's an edible thing. And if I can make a jelly out of it, that might be that might be fun and kind of happy sunshiny. Don't forget it, Jason. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's stuck now. Lumber snacks and lumber muffin. So, the boss used to have blah 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 for Jan's ringtone. Oh. I I had ah uh, ah. Uh, there it goes. Your husband's calling. Yeah, your husband's calling right now. Probably answer the phone or ignore it, but your husband's calling. <laughs> yeah. So, well, yeah, dandelion jelly, what do you think? It worth a try. And it's morel season, so we, we should go out there. We should go foraging for some morels. Yeah. I saw Daniel at Arms Family Homestead. He he in Houston pulled a huge bunch of morels out of the woods. Wait, go no, no, you don't, Jason. Don't So even though you turned that down, that's not your ringtone for notification. See what you did. See what you did. Love you, Lumber Snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. So, 
Chad was saying that there's all are naughty. <laughs> Chad was saying there's tons of videos out there on dandelion jelly. <laughs> I know there are, but I trust you guys over YouTube. Oh boy, that was a wrong thing. There she goes again. <laughs> Okay, they've taken over. <laughs> they've taken over our lives. <laughs> oh. Good would, you, you would you two care to pop in here and explain yourselves? No, we're not. Oh, we're Judy, not monetized yet, exactly. Judy Herman's here. Judy Herman. Yeah. Shall behave. She's going to be lining all y'all out. <laughs> y'all see how she does me? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Ann Dale says, does anybody, does this make anyone else want her to have your number just to see what music she gets? <laughs> you know, for just a dollar ninety nine, you two can have your own ringtone. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that to you. Wait, Cindy Squirrel Upgrade is in. What? I haven't seen you in forever, girl. Ramblin' Peach. Hi, Carol. Something I about, know. Something about watching your be your pants. Yeah. I didn't see what. Oh, well, there's Tara. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> There's a there's a video for you to see who gets what ringtone. No, you know what's fun though? Our friend Lori. She's not in here, so I know I'm safe. She <laughs> has a very special ringtone. <laughs> They're all going on. Oh, you got two of them going. <laughs> Y'all need to stop. I can't breathe. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's Lori. She's in. She's in. There's Lori's. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh. But she's got the best one for me. Hang on a minute. Y'all go ahead and have fun at my You know what? It keeps me straight. I know exactly who's calling and just how long I need to ignore them. There we go. You might not want to air that on. That was, yeah. that was under five seconds. That, uh, that was the song that we played when we landed here. No, actually, he introduced to that song. It was the night, e either the night before or the night after we found the listing on this place. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> she's got it down to a sign. She just makes it crow and then she's done. Uh, but yeah, he introduced me to that song. And then, yeah, we got down here and I said, that is the first song that is going to be played on our property. <clears throat> and it was. Yep. We christened her right. Are you guys all done playing with your musical stuff? Your thingies? That was kind of fun. I am in so much trouble, she says. No, you're not in any trouble, honey, because I don't do paybacks at all, <laughs> ever. Oh, well, see what happens. Oh, the button's not working now. <laughs> so sorry about the rudeness of my friends, people. <laughs> I thought Lori was not well, in here. That's one way that they join. But I, I didn't know Lori was in here. Did I didn't you see her I didn't see anywhere? Lori in here. All of a sudden, she pops up. Hi, Lori. I mean, we love you, but... <laughs> if I missed you, I'm sorry. We thought it was safe to say that... Nah -huh. Oh, golly, that was fun. Mm. You know what? I think it would be fun... Because I do assign a special ringtone to everybody. Yes. We should do like a contest. Not now, but soon. Oh, there's Lori. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Hi, Lori. We should do a contest. Um, I'm trying to think how we would do this. Guess your ringtone. <laughs> or it's true. Guess, like, guess whose ringtone? Yeah, guess whose guess whose ringtone? That might be fun. We could do it kind of like a Kahootits thing, only ringtone it. I don't know. That might be fun. That's a good tune. <clears throat> That's a good tune. Yeah, that's a good one. I like how, Jelly Roll. How do you make it as big as he did with that kind of a name? I, I mean, it, I don't know. And have you counted how many teardrop tattoos? No. You know what the teardrop stands yeah. for. So I don't know if he just got that on because he's trying to be a cool kid. I, I got a t-shirt on that says I used to be a cool kid. Now I'm just my dog snack dealer. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Oh, so Jan says you need to change mine so <clears throat> folks don't know mine. Oh, no, you brought that on yourself, Missy. <laughs> no, there, there are consequences to actions. Yeah. <coughs> would that be fun, right. Mickey? I think that would be fun, right? Guess whose ringtone? I hear Vanna White's for hire now. Walker and all. Yeah. No, no. Do you want to grab one of the babies? Do you want to see the babies? You want to see one of them you babies? Want to see one of the babies? What's the babies? Where's the heathen? He's over there. Watch him. We're going to show you one of the babies. We are amazed at how large they've gotten in a week. I'm trying to watch for the black heathen. He's right in the background. You can see his little paw right there. Yeah. I'm keeping an eye on him. We're going to show you the pin feathers on these babies. Holy cow, they're busting out with feathers everywhere. Drop the lid. You cannot leave that open. Sorry. Okay. Look at the babies. Want the babies. And the babies cute. Want the babies. Don't want the babies. And, they have gotten so yeah, big. This is Dixie. This is Dixie. 
they have gotten so big. We don't want to get them all worked up. It's past their feeding time, and really, they should be sleeping now. They were. But the um, so to get the optimal size out of them, they have to be raised in optimal conditions, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to give them the best possible conditions to be strong and healthy and all that stuff. I talked to uh, Jeff bobblehead homestead he's like the chicken guru in these parts and he gave me some really great tips right before we got him and yeah we love us some bobblehead yeah he's a good guy fluffy fuzzies fuzzy butt vanna white is not real um, <laughs> you know i don't know how true that is but that's a lot of truth right there <clears throat> but plastic is real i mean Covita. Did you put the brick on? Yeah. Yes, I did. Well, what do you think, babe? I think We're it's done. time for us to close, close it, out. it out. It was better after you had a nap when you got home from work, huh? I was tired. I know you were. But it was a very physical day. Yeah. Yeah. It was for me, too. Yeah. I had to go from there to there. Oh, did you? And then back to there. Crap, I hate it when that happens. I know. I did... I did two videos though today. <laughs> She's not gonna leave it. So now you now you know what's gonna happen every time we do a live. <laughs> And you know how the whole reverse thing works? So Jason doesn't like to get up when Tara does. Because Tara gets up early. Oh. She's up at like 4 a.m. About uh -huh. the same time we get up. Yeah. yeah. Call me one more time. You just put the gauntlet down and... <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, we're going to close it out. Thank you so, so much for making it. Fun. We love every single one of you. Thanks. Thanks so much for annoying and here. otherwise. We love you. Yeah. Your family. Yeah. That's <laughs> what family does. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, there's more. Y'all be blessed. Enjoy this weekend doing whatever you're doing. Remember the reason for the weekend. Yes. Look up and say thank you. Thank you. He's going to lead us out. You just did it, man. You just did He's it. He's going to lead us out. See you guys. See ya.